What is up fitness fam and welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be going over how to make a low calorie meal using no fat, no butter, no oil. And today we are testing out an air fryer. I have been so amazed by this really fascinating device where you can cook almost anything from a ton of vegetables to your protein you can literally bake in it make pizza french toast you name it you can make anything in this little thing and plus the cleanup work is beyond unbelievable it is so easy if you're like me i don't have a dishwasher i have to do all my dishes with my hands and as you can imagine meal prepping is not fun so this Thing is literally so amazing and I think it makes meal prepping so much more easier so today I'm going to be testing out this new Teotronics air fryer really put it to the test I'm gonna go over the pros and cons with air fryers are they worth the hype and then at the end I'm gonna give you guys my overall honest opinion For the longest time, I've been trying to find someone like you but I keep crashing back. Electronics air fryer device does come with a recipe book with over 50 recipes that you can make in your air fryer but honestly I actually went online just like looked up a lot of YouTube videos to see what they were doing with the air fryer but I decided I wanted to make some chicken breast some Brussels sprouts I want to roast those Brussels sprouts nice and crisp with bacon I also want to try to make it just with the bacon because usually when I make bacon it's one hell of a cleanup work not only with using the pan but I also try to make bacon in the oven and it just makes the oven so greasy so I want to see if this air fry is a little life hack to make it bacon even though I don't eat a lot of bacon I just really like to add it into a lot of vegetables such as Brussels sprouts and then I'm also going to try to make sweet potato fries in it, but I'm going to try to do that last. So let's see how that works. Okay, I do want to show you guys really quick before we get started that this air fry comes with a lot of pre-settings so if you want to make mushroom bowls like carrots broccoli shrimps fish all you have to do is just press the damn logo and it will set up the degrees and the amount of time that it takes and you just press go i do recommend to come to check on your food every so often like every five minutes or so and also before you use it you usually have to preheat it so we're just gonna go ahead and preheat it real quick and then while it's preheating i'm gonna go ahead and season my chicken breast probably cut it up a little bit you can just choose whatever seasoning you want to use but i can show you guys what i'm using today don't judge me but i usually like to put taco seasoning on everything it has a little bit of spice to it too so that's what we're going to use then I'm just going to use this salt and pepper everyday seasoning from Trader Joe's and probably add a little bit of sea salt as well. Also, can we just notice how quiet this thing is? Like you can hear it's working, but it's not loud at all. It is so low key so far. I'm really loving it. just found this really cool feature it's a feature where you basically let me show you guys yeah you press this one which says keep warm and it just keeps it warm while you're prepping your food so now that I put my chicken in there I'm gonna go ahead and put it in let's just pause it reset I would like to put it I'll probably not use the presetting this time. I like to put it at 380 degrees for, let's do 15 minutes. Whoop, just like that. So simple, so easy. I literally cannot get over how easy and simple this is. It really changes the whole game for cooking for me. But as I said earlier, I'm gonna keep checking in on my chicken every 
five to ten minutes to make sure it's not overcooked and everything looks good so yeah I'm gonna return in about 15 minutes and let's check out the chicken It smells amazing. Let's go ahead and check if they're cooked or not. This little piece definitely cooked. All right, let's check out the fattest piece of chicken. Oh my God, it's so juicy. Wait, I gotta show you guys. Oh my God. You guys see that juice? <gasps> And it's perfect. That's a perfect chicken right there. And it's so good. This machine, it's amazing. Where have you been all my life? All right, let's put in the Brussels sprouts. Seven degrees for 10 minutes and see how that goes. I am so whitewashed in this lighting, but let's check out our Brussels sprouts and bacon. I did take it out when it was like five minutes in and like shook it around a little bit, but I think it's done. Let me know. Oh my god, it looks so good. The bacon looks crispy, Brussels sprouts looks crispy. I do think that I made a rookie mistake. It's pretty rookie, newbie of me. Not to just make it together with the chicken. I wasn't thinking, I'm just making for one person only. There was clearly enough space to make the Brussels sprouts bacon and chicken together but hey learn from my mistake so this is the first meal the brussels sprouts have gotten so crispy so has the bacon the chicken is so juicy so yummy I already ate a piece it was so incredibly easy to make so before i try to cook the sweet potato fries and the bacon just bacon strips I do want to go over pros and cons with the air fryer that I have right here presented for you guys. So let's go over the cons first. First of all, it obviously takes up a lot of space. It is a decent size air fryer, but obviously there is a little bit of a hidden pro in that because you get to be able to make so much more food at once. I obviously demonstrated just for one person, but you can make up to a whole family dinner in this thing. I believe you can roast the whole chicken in it as well, but obviously it is a con because as you guys can see, I have absolutely no kitchen space, kitchen counter space at all. Like, at all. I live in a small New York City apartment, so it's obviously not the air fryer's fault. And I feel like a lot of people won't have this problem because they don't live in a small New York City Manhattan apartment. But honestly, it really isn't that bad because I don't need a lot of counter space because I don't have to do a lot of prep. And I also don't have to use the stove when I'm using the air fryer. So obviously I can use the stove as well as counter space. So it really isn't that bad. That is honestly the only con I can think about about this air fryer. It is literally an absolutely god scent machine. <laughs> this thing will make my life so much more easier, not only for meal prepping, but just cooking overall. Obviously, you can make so much more healthier food as well. You don't have to consume so much oil, so much grease. You can literally cook any vegetable in this thing, any protein, anything you desire. It can be done in this thing, which is crazy. The cleanup work is also extremely easy. All you have to do is just pop out this little basket thing. First, obviously, allow it to cool down. You can wash it in the sink, but you can also just pop it in your dishwasher if you're so lucky to have one of those. So if you would like one of these air fryers yourself, which I, by the way, highly recommend, there will be an Amazon link down below with Taotronics Air Fryer, the exact one I've been using in this video. I would highly recommend to get one. 
Obviously you don't have to, but it will make your life so much easier. I also want to mention that obviously the air fryer not only comes with the over 50 recipes to make in the air fryer, but it also comes with a starter guide, a quick starter guide, and also obviously instructions on how to use it, how exactly to use it for like different cooking options. But with that said, let's go ahead and try to cook the bacon strips and the sweet potatoes fries really quick. So I just added the bacon strips in here. Obviously I didn't add it a lot because it's just me, but you can literally fill up the entire thing. And then I'm just gonna pop it in. And then, look here, bacon strips. You guys see that? So I'm just gonna go ahead and go on bacon. Five minutes only, hmm. Let's go ahead and try that and see how that works. All right, let's check it out. Oh my God. Okay, so I usually just put these on a napkin first, but you don't have to. And obviously if you want it more crispy than this, you just give it longer time. Maybe like one more minute, two more minutes on high degrees. Totally up to you if you want more crisp. So I just went ahead and cut up the sweet potato off camera. All of that was before I started cutting it. I just washed the peel, so like the peel is nice and clean. But I like to leave it on just because it gets more crispy and supposedly there's a lot of nutrients in it as well. Wait, 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 wait. It has a fry thingy. A fry setting. Alright, let's try that. why I recommend to check on your food every five minutes or so because I believe that they are done <laughs> they look nice and crispy looks good are they hot I'm just gonna go for it I'm gonna do one of those <laughs> bites it's so good I believe the food pretty much speaks for itself. It's delicious. I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here. My recommendation is I would definitely recommend this air fryer from Tartronics. 10 out of 10 recommend. Again, I'll make sure to link the link for this one down below if you guys wanna check it out. I'm also curious to hear if any of you already have an air fryer or if you're thinking about getting one. Let me know if you guys want to see me cook more recipes in this one i will definitely go ahead and do that if there's a requirement for it and before you leave this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you liked it and if you want to watch more videos like this one don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and i'll see you guys in the next video bye bye